once again reverse kinematics means we have the we have like our arm is here but i need to reach here okay or here I, I, my arm need to once again our arm the position of my arm is here i need to reach here so what it have to do it have to come all through this way so for doing this we need to calculate the angular value from the from x y z okay and this this thing is called reverse kinematics now we will we have x y and z we have to calculate theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 we have we have x y z we have x suppose x equal to uh, 20 y equal to let's consider 25 and z equal to let us consider it 30 what should be the value of theta 1 what should be the value of theta 2 what should be the value of theta 3 now we are considering our example in this way like our arm should be always look on horizontal okay look toward the servi uh, servicing okay so let me redraw the thing again we have the l1 l2 l3 and d to the same thing okay this is the same for our mongol 3 project so for this part reverse kinematics first we will calculate x and y x and y means x and y means like so if we will consider x is 20 that means around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like 20 means in this position uh, y means 25 uh, y means 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if 8 is here no 1 2 3 4 like x here y is 25 1 2 3 4 5 y is here and z is 30 so it should be here and 30 means like this Okay, so like this one, we know x is 20, suppose x is 20, y is 25, and z is 30. Now, we would like to calculate theta 1, that means the theta of this base. We would like to calculate the theta 2, that means this angle, and we would also like to calculate theta 3, this angle. Okay. So let's go to the equation or let's go to the trigonometry again. So first we have to look from the top. First we have to look from the top. Okay. So if we look from, from the top, this is x, this is y and this is our arm. So our arm has three parts. One is L1. Another one is L2 and another one is L3. So, if we would like to calculate this angle and this is, this is x, y. We know the x, y value. x is 20, y is 25. So, if we want to find this angle, we need to find the length of this one this part okay so to find the length of this let us consider as d1 and this part is l3 i am coming to d1 later so d1 plus l3 d1 plus l3 equal to root over x square plus y square you can find the value easily 
Now we need to calculate this theta, okay, by using sine formula or cos rule, we can easily find it. If we use cos theta, that means this one is theta 1, so cos theta 1 equal to uh, x by this part. So, yeah, x by d1 plus l3. We found the value of d1 plus L l3 from the previous one. So, now theta 1 is cos inverse x divided by d1 plus L3. So, we got the value of theta. Now, we, we are going uh, backward, okay, reversely. So, first we calculated this one. Now, we will calculate uh, L1 and L2. Okay, so this part is this part is the direct distance of theta 1 point to theta 3 point that means the direct distance of L1 L2 actually this one is L1 L2 L2. Now let us draw the picture of the whole arm. This is ground. Let us consider the height of this point is d2. Here is our x1. Okay, let me give a bit more value. L1, L2, and this is L3. So we, this is the value of this part this part. So, here is L3 and here is D1. We got the value until this part. So, this is D1. Now, we will consider a, tri a right triangle here. Okay? We know the x, y, z value here. That means the height from here to here is z. We know this is z. This is z. And also we know d2 so we know the value of this part this one is z minus d2 okay now now we will consider this one like this angle as uh, let us rewrite theta 7 and this is theta 6 and the whole angle is theta 2. So, theta 2 is theta 6 plus theta 7. Now, we will calculate theta 7. Okay. But before calculating theta 7, let us calculate the value of this one. Okay. Let us name it as d6 for this equation. So, d6, we know the Pythagoras equation, d6 is square equal to if we we'll write d1 is square plus z minus d2 square. So, if you want to find d6, we will just make a root over from here. Okay, we will get d6 here. Now, we find d6, we have the value of this one, d1, we also have the value of this one. So, by using either cos theta or tan theta, we can get the value of this theta 7. Okay, so cos theta, let us use cos theta, cos theta 7 equal to uh, d1 divided by d6. Okay, so if we want to find theta 7, very simply cos invert d1 divided by d6. So, we got the value of theta 7. Now we have the value of d6, theta 7, this part and this part also. So now we will find the value of theta 6 and theta 3. Okay? So according to our trigonometric equation, cos sine trigonometric equation, if we will consider theta 3 here, that means b means. 
d6 okay so d6 square equal to l1 square plus l2 square minus 2 l1 l2 into cos theta 3 so 2 l1 l2 cos theta 3 equal to l1 square plus l2 square minus d6 square so now if i will take it right side divided by 2 l1 l2 so theta 3 is cos a cos l1 square plus l2 square minus d6 square divided by 2 l1 l2 now we got theta 3 okay so if we want to find theta 6 this is the same calculation the same equation we will use the same equation instead of d6 it will become l2 okay and l1 is l1 but l2 will become d6 okay so d6 and l2 will replace the position then we can find the uh, degree of theta 6 so if i find the degree of theta 6 then by adding theta 6 and theta 7 we will find theta 2 okay so that is the equation of reverse kinematic equation uh, or calculation okay in this way we can find theta 1 and theta 2 and theta 3 from the position of x y and z or the value of x y z take a look here so from from x y and z we can find previously you could find theta 1 that means the uh, degree theta 1 then we now we found theta 3 that means this is theta 3 this is theta 3 and we can also find theta 6 so theta 6 plus theta 7 is theta 2 so we can find here okay so you can find theta 2 here which is theta 6 plus theta 7 okay so that is the way how we can uh, find theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 from x y and z again this calculation in this calculation our l3 was horizontal to the ground but if we will change to the ground okay vertical to the ground then the calculation will be a bit changed okay so here we have to uh, omit l3 from here to calculate d1 okay or x and y and that way we can find the uh, 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 theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 if if our uh, end effector uh, goes toward the ground okay so that is the way how we can get uh, th this is the reverse kinematics way how we can get the angle from a three dimensional space position so it was the discussion about uh, the forward kinematics and backward kinematics okay or reverse kinematics in this way we can calculate we can move our arm we can move our manipulator from one point to another point but there is another very important issue we need to discuss which is dynamics okay so what kind of force we need to uh, give on a joint okay so that this joint can move okay or uh, in which force it will move from one point to another point and i believe kafe is going to cover that part he is going to discuss the dynamics of robotic arm or robotic manip manipulator so thank you very much it was very uh, simple trigonometry I believe if you uh, understand the trigonometry, then you could understand this lecture. Okay? You just need to uh, give some time, just give some new value of x, y, and z, then calculate in your own way. Okay? Just make some different value, then you will get the uh, value of theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3. Okay? And if you don't understand, please discuss with me at our discussion session. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a bit different uh, 
topic or different thing from our traditional CSC things. I had tried my best to make it understandable and I believe you could understand. Thank you very much.